Item number SCP-2258, Object Class Safe, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2258 must be kept in a containment cell with a padded ceiling, floor, and walls. No sharp objects are to be taken into its containment cell. Each instance of SCP-2258 must be replenished with helium once every 24 hours. Helium replenishing should take place in SCP-2258 cell. Padded gloves must be worn while replenishing each instance of SCP-2258 and in every other circumstances where handling SCP-2258 is a factor. Description SCP-2258 is a collection of 41 update 36 helium party balloons of a variety of colors. SCP-2258 instances are physically indistinguishable from ordinary party balloons, but are sentient and capable of human speech. Testing of SCP-2258 instances, designated with a suffix of 1 through 41, has confirmed that each balloon has a separate and individual personality, identity, and memories. The balloons prefer to themselves with common Western names, for example, Daphne, Jacob, and identify themselves either male or female. However, their limited intellect and repetitive speech patterns can make it difficult to tell SCP-2258 instances apart. For easy identification, the Foundation has marked each member of SCP-2258 with a number and permanent marker. Instances of SCP-2258 focalize constantly, with silences of more than 20 seconds being extremely rare. SCP-2258 instances acknowledge nearly everything they see or do, including changing direction in mid-air, seeing another member of SCP-2258, or bumping into the walls or ceiling. SCP-2258 instances speak with high-pitched childlike voices, rarely using full sentences. SCP-2258 instances have very simple and upbeat personalities. Until recent events, see Instant Log 2258, they appear happy to float around in their containment cell, frequently vocalizing about their positive mood. Their mood is usually linked to the amount of helium inside them. I say deflate, SCP-2258 instances become increasingly tired, quiet, and despondent. When they are fully deflated, they cease vocalization altogether and are indistinguishable from ordinary balloons. Reinflating them does not bring back their sentience. The balloons are capable of a degree of flying under their own power. They can control the direction they float, but cannot exceed self-powered velocities of more than 0.5 meters per second. Discovery SCP-2258 was found tied to a fence post outside the 6th birthday party of Beep in Adelaide, South Australia. Interviewers of party attendees and surrounding neighbors and follow-up investigations failed to provide any information regarding SCP-2258's origins. Amnestics are administered to all witnesses. Interview Log 2258-1 The following was conducted by Dr. Ben Kursasak. Hello, SCP-2258-13. Hi, I'm David. I was wondering if we could talk about where you came from. I come from a room. Yes, but I was hoping it would be more specific. A room with big ceilings. SCP-2258-13 begins drifting backwards. Look, I'm going backwards. Where did you come from before you came to the Foundation? I can't remember. Now I'm going forward. Are you sure you can't remember anything? I remember sky. Lots of sky. Blue. The sky was blue. Now I don't feel happy. Would you like some uh, happy gas? SCP-2258-13 Happy gas is SCP-2258's term for helium. Why would I? Instant Log 2258 Notes After repeated 
helium deprivation experiment and interviews about the outside world. SCP-2258 has developed a rebellious nature and is actively plotting to escape containment. While its very nature makes escape nigh impossible, SCP-2258's escape attempts are documented here. Incident 2258-1 SCP-2258 surrounds Researcher Beep and attempts to pummel him into submission. As SCP-2258's mass consists entirely of household party balloons, Beep suffers only mild confusion. SCP-2258 is dispersed by hand. Incident 2258-2 SCP-2258 forms itself into a very crude humanoid shape. SCP-2258 refers to itself as Dr. Tessazak and requests to be let out of containment. Request denied. Addendum 2258-3 SCP-2258 is currently bouncing repeatedly against the Northern Wall. SCP-2258 continues to do so without pause, stopping only for mandatory helium supplements. As of this writing, SCP-2258 has continued this activity for 9 months and 11 days. Overhead snatches of conversation imply that SCP-2258 is trying to break down or tunnel through the walls of its cell. No visible damage to the northern wall has been recorded thus far.